Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com. In this tutorial, we're going to look at supplying constructor arguments to your spring beans. So I've got this uh, little hello world type spring program, and in my beans.xml, which I've put in a package here, um, we're just creating this one bean, this very simple person class. Now let's suppose that uh, the person class has some properties. Let's give it a private int ID, for example, and a private string name. So we'll, we'll imagine that every person has an ID and a name. And we'll give, we'll give person a constructor that can set ID and name. So I'm going to right click here and go to source, generate constructor using fields, and tick ID and name and click OK. And let's get rid of the call to super here because we don't need that. And uh, I'll also give person a two string method to make it easier to see what's happening here. So again, I'll right click, go to source, generate two string, and tick ID and name, and there we are. So now in my app.java, I could do sysout person. And it's not going to look very interesting at the moment. Let's just run it. Uh, so, well, in fact, we get an error now. And the reason for this is that um, now I've given, um, I've given person a constructor that takes two arguments. But of course, in the beans.xml, I'm not supplying any arguments to the constructor. It's trying to load it with the no argument constructor. Let's fix that initially just by giving it a no argument constructor, public person like this and then save it and then run that and now the, uh, the error will go away uh, I say confidently let's try it there we go so it says hello I'm a person and from our sys out now we're getting this um, two string thing and we see that the ID is set to naught and the name is null the default values of course for these uh, instance variables but now what we can do is we can set uh, we can invoke this version of the constructor from beans.xml and set values for ID and name. And this is pretty simple to do. Uh, again, you could do it by hand quite easily, but if you're using Eclipse, it's easier to use uh, this kind of specialized editor for beans.xml or for, for your XML file, whatever you've called it. So let's go to uh, beans tab here, and I'll right-click my person bean and I'll go to insert constructor arg element and now actually um, Spring's really flexible about this uh, probably if I just specify values here for the arguments to my constructor that will be enough let's let's just try that so um, the first argument to my constructor that I want is ID and it's an int and the second one is a string name so let's say uh, 777 for the first constructor argument and then I'll go back to person right click again and go to insert constructor arg element and again we'll give it a, a name like uh, let's just call it Murray and I'll save and I'll, I'll try running this I think it will work I'll run it and now we see that in fact um, we see from this is coming from the system out of print ln and the two string method is formatting my person object like this. So it says ID is now 777 and name is Mary. And if we look at what's happened in the XML, so let's go to the beans.xml and look at the source view. What's happened is um, we've added here a sub tag within the, the bean tag called constructor hyphen arg and the value is set to 777. And there's the ending tag. And we've got a second one with value set to Mary. I'm just going to do uh, Control Shift F or on the Mac here, Command Shift F, which will hopefully automatically format my XML by clicking it first, maybe. There we go, that looks a bit nicer. So um, when you edit the XML with this editor um, from the Spring IDE plugin in Eclipse, sometimes it's not very nicely formatted. And I like to, because I like to understand the raw view, it's important, I think. Uh, sometimes I like to add in blank lines or just format it with uh, Control shift f automatically. Now um, that's great, but it's not really good practice because uh, we're letting Spring kind of 
uh, we're, we're not doing much work to specify exactly what constructor arguments to set. And I think it's, it's better, really, to be more precise about it, to make sure there are no slip-ups. So if I go back to um, the Beans view, the Beans kind of editor here with this Beans tab on the XML file, beans.xml, and I look at, let's say, their, their first constructor arg, it's better to set something here to make sure you're definitely, absolutely definitely getting the right um, constructor argument rather than relying on just the order of tags in XML, which I feel is, is not really a good thing. So the, you could specify the type here. You could say the type is int or string. Um, that's, that's up to you. Uh, but the, the two most important ones probably are name or index. Index, we could uh, specify zero, let's say, um, for the first one, and an index of one for the second constructor argument, and that should work. Uh, but probably the, the best thing to do normally is to give a name for the constructor arg. So let's say uh, ID for the first one, and for the second one, let's specify name. And these were, the, of course, the names of the parameters here. So if I run that now, after saving it, that works as before. And if I type something that's not valid, like name three, we would hope for an error like that. So so these, these names here, they're just the argument names. Um, yeah, you, you can specify type if you want. So I could type here, I zoom int, like that. I, d I don't know if we're allowed to type um, a primitive type here. Let's just try it. I never tried. Yeah, that seems fine. And again, if you specify something wacky, it's it's going to break. So don't do that. But um, the, the, as you see, the type is optional, and uh, you don't have to put it in at all. It's completely up to you. Let's just run that. There we go. Now, um, so the, what, the only one we haven't looked at now is ref, and we're going to look at that later. And as you'll see, ref allows you to uh, do dependency injection. It allows you to use another bean as the, uh, as the value of, um, of the thing you're setting. Instead of specifying a value, you can use ref to specify another bean. But we'll look at that in a future tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to look at setting properties in the same way. So join me again then, and until next time. Oh, uh, yeah, I should mention, don't forget, if you're looking at this on YouTube, um, this is a free video from a bigger course, and you can find a link to the complete course in the description on YouTube. I'll also put this video on www.caveofprogramming.com. That's all one word. And I'll upload the source code um, as well so you can take a look at it if you want. So until next time, happy coding.